Hi, welcome to an X12 video tutorial. It's sort of a remake of a very old one. It's a spiral staircase and it's with expressions, so I could control it with those expressions and it adjusts. And the most amazing thing in an X12, you can do it with a pattern. Just a pattern. No need for a helix. So Let's have fun with Siemens and X. Okay, let's start with a sketch for the step. I need a circle. Diameter might be 200. Then go for a profile and try to snap here. Go to the center and then go right over there. Go for a trim. and add an angle of, let's say, 20 degrees. Close, finish that sketch, make an extrude with that sketch and make it maybe 20. Confirm, hide that sketch. And now I can go for a pattern feature. And you have to go for a pattern feature, otherwise it will not adjust if you go for geometry, ge geometry pattern, sorry. So go for the pattern feature, select the step and switch to helix. The vector would be the set axis, the point would be 0, 0, 0. And I want to go for count, angle and distance. So I want to go for not 20, but let's say 18 steps, angle 20 degrees, because that's the same as the step, and the distance in height between those steps should be 20 millimeters. That would be okay, so let's confirm. And I've already got a nice sort of stairwell. Plus, but Please note, these are bodies, because that's a parasolid-based program. It will make bodies, not one body, but in this case, 18 bodies. And that will be a problem later on as well. So now I need another sketch, again on the same plane, confirm, another circle, and maybe the diameter is 50 or 60. Let's go for 60. Finish that sketch. Let's make another extrude with that sketch here. And the height should be 18 times that step height. That would be 18 times 20. And make none and confirm. Now if you want to unite those solids, it will not work. Because it's a parasolid based program. Let's hide that sketch as well. Which means those steps do not overlap do not intersect, but they touch only with a straight line, and that's not possible in parasolid-based programs. So in order to make it work, I will add a little bit to the angle here and a little bit to the height. So I go for the first sketch and go for the details and I want to change that angle here, that 20 degree angle. And it should be 20 plus 0, 0, 0 0.01. And the same for the extrude. Not this one, but the first one. That 20 should be, again, 20 plus 0 0.01 and now that 
has to be changed as well. So go for this extrude and add there 0 0.01 as well. And now I can unite it. So I want to use this one as target and the complete pattern feature as tool. And confirm. And that worked. Now I want to use expressions and make this a uh, sorry a parametric model. I want to go for three expressions or parameters, user parameters. So let's go to tools, go to expressions, and first you should hide all those parameters. So go for only user defined expressions. Now the first one should be sort of a step counter. And that should be one without not a length but unitless. And right now the value should be 18. So if I insert that parameter into my model, it should not change. Next I need a step height. And this should be at the moment 20. And I need a step angle. And this should be an angle, yes. And the value should be at the moment 20. Let's close this one. And now we've got those expressions up there. Those three, and now I want to insert those into my model. First, I want to deactivate that Unite because I will do it step by step. So the first would be the sketch and I have to edit this parameter. Let's go here, go for a formula. And this should be not 20 plus 0 0.01, but the step angle and OK and close and finish that sketch. Next will be that extrude and this should be a formula as well and this should be the step height plus 0 0.01 and OK. And I might get an error because no, it's still OK with those dimensions. And the last extrude would be, no, I have to go to the pattern feature. And that count should be formula the step counter and the angle should be the step angle and the distance should be the step height. So go for formula go for step height and confirm and OK. Let's see if the Unite works. Seems to work. Let's hide those sketches and, cha and change the values. But that extrude should be 
touched as well. So this should be a formula. And that would be the step counter multiplied with the step height. And then you have to add 0 0.01 and of course plus and OK. And OK still works. So if you change now one of the parameters, the amount, the number of bodies or solids will change and you will get some sort of information. Not a real warning, but you will get an information, a hint that your number of solids changed. So let's go for, let's say, 20. And it adjusts. And that's just an information, not an error message. But it still works. So that small triangle with that exclamation mark is just an information. And you could change, of course, the angle as well. Let's go for 10. See, and you could change this one. Let's go to 10. And maybe go for 60. Again, the number of bodies changed, but it works. It works like a charm. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.